Hi, my name's Jack Mitchell. I'm Senior Programme Manager for Atkins in Scotland, Rail Engineering Projects. I've been in the rail industry for 15 years now. What I'd like to tell you about today is the consequential and devastating effects of leptospirosis. I got a phone call um, early January to say that my brother was in intensive care uh, in Malaysia. He was working as a senior project manager for an oil fabrication company and had a series of organ failures um, which led to him collapsing and being rushed to the hospital. En route to the hospital, he, his heart stopped four times and he was shot back to life. Uh, he was then transferred into ICU um, to a major hospital in Kuala Lumpur. We were told um, by the surgeon, uh, by the cardiovascular surgeon, um, the neurologist, that um, my brother was lucky to be alive. And the diagnosis as to the reason and the cause of him being in that condition was due to leptospirosis. The dangers of working on the tracks are the overhead lines, not listening to your briefings when you're going on from the course, fooling around, open cat spots, slips and trips, working at heights. The dangers of working on the railway tracks are just endless, basically. There's, we need to watch for overheads, train movements, RRBs, catch pits that are open, slips and trips. Trains, trains is the main danger, and uh, followed by the overhead line. Uh, electrification, uh, slips, trips and falls. Also for wheels disease as well. When you go out on track, we are blasé to the effects of leptospirosis. We don't wear gloves, we should wear gloves. We eat sandwiches at the side of the the track without paper. You'll pick something up off the track. You don't know what's been across there. You don't know how many rats are around there. We put our hands in troughing routes. What you don't realise is how many rats have run through that pool of water and urinated in that pool of water. We're blasé about still water, about picking things up off the ground, about not wearing gloves. Um, and we're worried, quite rightly so, about being hit by a train. But this cunning um, disease infection surrounds you, not only on the track, but in your daily life. I have now seen the devastating effects that this cunning and manipulative um, disease can have on you and your loved ones. Like most people in the rail industry, we tend to treat leptospirosis with a um, bravado. Um, don't kiss a rat because you'll get leptospirosis. I think we're all guilty of not understanding this disease and how the infection can kill you in a very, very short period of time. Um, the time span from my brother Drew contracting leptospirosis to the time that he was in an intensive care unit um, was a matter of weeks, but it took three days to four days for him to be severely ill. And a week later, he was lying as a shell in a bed with no brain activity with major organ failure and no quality of life. You've often heard me talk about safety and of course safety is absolutely vital in the working lives that we all have. 
but actually your health is equally important and I want to talk to you about that today. It's really important that you think about the things you can't see. This film's been all about the effects of leptospirosis and the tragic effects on an individual's life, but also too on the family. And so I want you to think about the things you can't see. I want you to think about washing your hands, about covering your cuts, about precautions that you take when you light a cigarette or when you go for a sweet in your pocket or when you eat your lunch on site and basic health hygiene so that all of you are safe but that you go home safe and well every day that you work for us. And that applies to everybody. It applies to our employees and our suppliers and it applies to our partners and anybody who's working alongside us just as we look out for their safety I want you to think about their health and well-being too. The devastating effect that this has had is very, very difficult to quantify. His children can't really understand and find it difficult to understand how their dad is now a shell a shell in a bed. At present they are saying that he will live um, possibly for a year and it's now six months since it happened um, but that's about as long as they're, they're, the life expectancy they're giving him. Please, um, if I can implore on you, treat this with the utmost um, care. I don't want anybody that I know or any work colleagues or anybody in this industry to go through what myself, my brother's children, his wife Sheila, have went through. Um, it's devastating. So if you treat leptospirosis with disdain, you could possibly find yourself, I mean, not only you, but your family, your loved ones in that situation. Thank you.